Minecraft 1.20, the Trails and Tales update. Snapshots, betas, and previews, they are coming to an end. The update is complete, and we can expect this over the next couple of weeks. So today in this video, I've decided to put together a Q&A video. I've been playing Minecraft for over a decade. And I've seen the process that the developers take in order to release an update. But in this video, I'm taking the time to answer your questions because I'm seeing a lot of repeat questions in the comments section of my betas, my previews, my snapshots videos. That being said, if you guys have any general Minecraft questions that you'd like me to answer to the best of my ability, then feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. Now stick around until the end of today's video because I've got some questions that have been asked to me that I want to ask back to you as a wider audience. Also, if you could drop a like, I do really appreciate it. But let's waste no time. First comment we have here says, I hope they add more sniffers, seeds, and flowers before full release. Now, although I agree with you, we always want more. When it comes to a Minecraft update, we always want more features. And we're always sitting there thinking, but what about if they also introduce this feature alongside that feature? I think we're all greedy in some kind of way without being too negative. It's not a problem wanting more. But that being said, sniffers, seeds, flowers, they are not going to be added. The update is complete. And the developers even said during the latest betas and previews and snapshot change logs that the focus now is, is bug fixes. As soon as we get given a brand new music disc and new music and achievements, that to me is the indication that the developers are like, okay, right, the update is complete and we need to release it. Now, the reason why this update is suspected to be released at the end of this month, if not definitely during June, is because they're trying to target the summer holidays when children are off, when families are off, when people are gaming most. Now, I will talk a little bit about the sniffer throughout today's video, but it would have been nice, definitely would have been nice to have maybe one to three different variations of the sniffer. I think it's a great introduction. I know a lot of people are gonna argue and say, the seeds, they don't do anything. The plants, they don't do anything. Yes, the flowers are pretty much decorative plants. And the seeds could have been used for a little bit more. For example, we have the torch flower as a plant. And this is where things are quite interesting. If you use a torch flower with the mushroom, the brown mushroom, it gives you the ability to have night vision. But it doesn't light up as a flower. Do you see what I'm saying? Like small mechanics. It would have been nice for like an ambient effect. It didn't have to be as bright as a torch. But it would have been really nice if it let some kind of light off. Anyway, before we stay on the question for too long, moving on to the next question. They still need to add the plant. Roger Badgerman showed us. Great question. It's the number one question I get in every single video. So I want to explain this to the best of my ability. Starting from the beginning, who is Roger Badgerman? Well, I did do a separate video on him. He is a Minecraft informer, a Minecraft leaker, and he was sharing tons of information regards to Minecraft before it released. He was sharing information about the archaeology update. He was sharing information about what was going to be showed during Minecon before the event even began. He got in a lot of trouble with Minecraft and Microsoft to a point where he's not allowed to share any more leaks because if he does, he will be sued by Minecraft and Microsoft. And if there's one company you don't want to mess around with, that is Microsoft. They have a lot of money and they're always going to win. Anyway, he did share an image. And that image that he shared was this one right here. On the right hand side, we have the pitcher plant, right? It's in the game. You've seen it. So everyone was like, hmm, they finally introduced that. What about these type of vines that he also leaked? And a lot of people, including myself, were crossing our fingers for weeks and weeks and weeks and hoping that they would be introduced. And they haven't. Now, the chances of us getting any features, any new features at this point, is super minimal. The only time I remember the developers introduced something this late was when they introduced the Basalt Delta, the Delta Basalts, to the Nether update because the community complained. It was like, yeah, you didn't introduce enough biomes. 
I don't think this plant is needed in order for 1.22 to be released. And I think the image that Roger Badgerman did share was a prototype. Roger Badgerman should not have had access to this. He did. He leaked it. And of course, the developers make a lot of features. Some of them make it to the game. Some of them don't make it to the game. And this is going to be one of those features. Or the developers ran out of time. And this could be something that gets introduced to the future. And I hope that answers that question to the best of my ability. Is it coming? Probably not. What about bundles? This user shouts at me in the comments section. Eight people thumbs this up. Now, if you guys have a question or you see a question in the comment section and you want me to answer that most, make sure you like their comment. Bundles. Wow. How many years ago has it been since bundles started? Like two, three, four years ago? It's been discussed and available in the game for a very long time. Now, the strange thing about bundles is in 1.20, the developers brought it back. However, between them taking it away and bringing it back, nothing changed with bundles. The mechanics didn't change. The textures didn't change. The developers didn't explain anything about it. They just gave us access to bundles via experimental features. And that's just by Java, by the way. However, that being said, data miners on Minecraft Bedrock Edition did manage to find one beta and preview where the developers did introduce bundles, but they were not accessible to the public eye. Ever since that happened, they have not been developed any further. And I actually think the reason why is because in the near future, we will get some kind of inventory overhaul. Because let's be honest, Inventory in Minecraft is a complete mess. We just don't have enough space in this day and age in a Minecraft world because of how many features we have. So bundles are going to be another feature we have to wait for. I did jump on the wiki page. The bundle development actually started in 2020. It's not going to be introduced this year. So the earliest it will be introduced is 2024. That's four years without the feature officially being introduced. Developers, if you're watching this, I would like some kind of update on what you're doing with bundles. That is where this next question comes into play. Lewis said, Now, forgetting about the possible release date, my worries are still focused on the main current inventory issues. At this point, the storage size is so poor that it is not standable anymore. With such a lot of new different stackable items, it will be a torture for all of us to hold and collect this stuff. Fantastic question. Now, there is no doubt that Minecraft is definitely having a very big problem with inventory. We know this because the official developers have said it themselves. They've said that inventory is becoming a very big problem. Now, that kind of goes hand in hand with the previous question I've just had. Why didn't bundles get added? There's a problem with inventory. I think the developers need a lot more time to focus on the inventory issues. I think bundles will be added. And when they do officially get out added to Minecraft, they're going to be 10 times better than what they are right now. Oh, yeah. I would also like to point out another reason why bundles haven't been added yet is because the developers want to make sure they introduce all these features across Minecraft. Whether you're playing Minecraft Java Edition or Minecraft Bedrock, whether you're playing on a PC, a console, or in fact an iPhone or a tablet or some kind of touch device, they want to make sure all players can enjoy this feature. And from my understanding, they haven't quite figured out a solution on how to get it fully functional on iOS or Android. And like I said, it's all about time. The developers are targeting this release around about June time. They don't want to go past that time because they want people to be playing Minecraft a lot. I think the basic solution behind inventory and bundles would be backpacks. I think it'd be a pretty obvious solution. There's so much you could do with a backpack, but it looks like the developers are kind of like anti-backpack, which is crazy because Minecraft is an adventure game. And I think other games like Minecraft have backpacks and the solution is absolutely perfect. So developers are definitely going to have to go back to the drawing board when it comes to inventory because currently... At this moment, in order to benefit from any inventory space, you gotta kill the Ender Dragon and you gotta go to the End City. Well, Mojang and Minecraft confirmed 
There are millions of Minecraft players that play survival that have never been to the end or to the end cities. So they need to figure out a solution, whether it happens from the start of a brand new world or whether it's just gained through progression. But you don't necessarily have to go and kill a boss in order to benefit from it. Anyway, I want you guys to leave a comment down below and give me your solutions on inventory fixes. Why is the parity from Bedrock to Java good, but the parity from Java to Bedrock are just feature nerfs? I'm gonna agree and disagree. I think you guys have a very short memory. When it comes to Java features to Bedrock, well, we've just been given the 1.5 crouching, which is an incredible feature and will be available in the 1.20 upon release. And we also have banner shields. The number one feature that has been requested for Minecraft Bedrock players for a very long time. However, I do agree with the nerfs. The developers nerfed campfires on Minecraft Bedrock Edition and we complained so much. And the developers came out in a beta and preview and said the mechanics is working as intended well in that case the developers for minecraft java should patch the ability to place blocks above the nether because that's not working as intended that shouldn't be a feature we also have the recent discussion about what mobs can go in boats well as you guys know on minecraft bedrock edition there was tons more mobs that could fit inside of boats the developers removed it and nerfed it and made it just like Minecraft Java Edition. To me, I feel like the developers see Minecraft Java as the right way and Minecraft Bedrock as the wrong way. And while they're doing this, they're nerfing and breaking a lot of things, like farms. Anyway, again, I think it's just tit for tat. There's a lot of going back and forth. I think if we complain enough, the developers do end up fixing it. But again, I think they're trying to get the games like literally on par on parity because I think eventually, at some point in the future, they will be cross-play. I think that's going to be the end goal, even if it is a conspiracy. Big question. I really hope they keep doing updates like 1.20 from here on out. Don't release absolutely anything during Minecon. And instead, release some things being worked on and release everything else later on out of nowhere. So the community doesn't get upset when they can't deliver on things promised. I'm still mourning over the loss of Fireflies. I also hope they keep up with this one music disc a year. They have yet to break as music discs are easily some of the best items collect. And I really love the positivity behind this comment. I think we can all agree on day one when we did see the Minecon 1.20 reveal. Everyone was like, wait, what? That's it? I seen this update a week before you, and I knew that's how the community was going to respond. Now, I'll be honest with you, 1.20, it's not my favorite update. It's not my top three. I think it's a great update. It's got great content. I love the ability to edit signs, go back in signs and edit and change colors and write on the back and stuff like that. But it doesn't stand there with a top tier update for me. However, the way they did release this update has been fantastic. We've had so many features releasing over the past couple of months. And they've been huge surprises, and I like that. Now, what you've been saying, as in I hope they just release it this way, I want to talk about Minecraft updates in general, because I think we've all been confused about what is a 1.20 feature. Why is some of these features released in 1.19.4? Why have some of these features released in 1.19.80 for Bedrock? And it's really confusing to remember what feature was introduced in what update. And the reason why is because the developers said, one of the main things they want to do going forward is if content is ready, they want to release it. They don't want to announce something, let people test it in January, and we have to wait until June, July until we play it. They said if the update is ready and the features are ready, they're just going to release it in the next update, whether it's a minor update or a big update. And I like that because that is keeping people interested and it's keeping the content flowing. But yeah, I agree. I like the fact that we have surprises every single week when it comes to snapshots and betas. And I really, really liked your comments. I would love to know everybody else's opinion on how they've done the releases for 1.20. Final question today from Storm Hunter. The 1.20 update is a good one. I think that the 1.21 update will be a nature update with changes to the desert, badlands, savannah, and birch forest. 
This had 33 thumbs up. A lot of people liked this comment. And I want to know in the comment section, what do you think the next update is going to be? I know we don't have 1.20 yet, but it is around about that time where we start going, okay, so what's next? And I'm like that. Like, I, I really want to know what's next. For me, if it's not an end update, I'll be sad. I think it has to be like a, an end update or a new boss or a new dimension. And that's something I would be satisfied with. But I want your comments down below. Let's see what you guys can come up with. I'll see you all in the next video.